Australia is leading the charge in producing laboratory-based meat. Protein producers are hopeful cultivated meat products could be on the supermarket shelves as early as next year. While the technology has the power to disrupt the global meat industry, some experts remain unconvinced the world has the stomach for lab meat. A bowl of minced pork that's been made in a lab. It's sold as sustainable and ethical, but it may not pass the pub test. No. How come? Yeah, that's not that artificial. Why would I eat that? My wife's vegan, so it's also, I think, a more ethical process of doing it. So, yeah, definitely it'll be something that I'll be willing to try. Doesn't sound tasty at all. <laughs> Paul Bevan is the CEO of Magic Valley. It's one of just two companies in Australia that makes cultivated meat. Approvals for the products to be sold are still 12 months away, but Mr Bevan's optimistic that technology and the goods could be pivotal to Australia's future meat production. Australia is definitely a, a leader in the category. Um, what we've produced recently in terms of our, our lamb prototype and our pork prototype uh, is really world first. Victorian Animal Justice Party MP Georgie Purcell has been vegan for 11 years. A few weeks ago, she ate a pork dumpling with Magic Valley pork mints from a lab. I really think that lab meat is a game changer. It is a pathway to a kinder world and a more sustainable world. Almost $3 billion has been invested globally into the technology. With such a hefty investment, lab-grown proteins has potential to disrupt the global meat industry. The first thing I'd say is the technology really works. It's just really expensive technology. The only country in the world that can legally sell cultured meat is Singapore. A lab-grown chicken nugget will set you back $20, and that's per nugget. Magic Valley is currently small in scale. A kilogram of pork mince from Magic Valley costs $50, and is such is out of reach for most people. But at scale, Mr Bevan thinks he could sell it for $5 a kilo. We have a few hurdles in terms of scaling up. Um, there's a lot of capital required and a lot of infrastructure required and they're probably our two biggest challenges. Professor Wood remains unconvinced. He says the process is energy intensive and unless the energy source is 100% renewable, it won't be sustainable. The professor predicts the product will be an exotic offering on restaurant menus at best. People like to use the term, this is going to transform the industry. And I don't think it's going to transform the industry at all. So my message to farmers, don't sell the farm. Georgia Simpson, Sky News.